Hey guys, good evening. Laura, nice to see you. How are you? Everything good? Hi, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Bye. <laughs> How's I have your day I... today? I have flu. Oh yeah, you look sick. You, you actually look pretty sick. And my eye, my left eye is crying all the day. <laughs> Yeah. What's crying all the way? <laughs> wow, that's. Are, are you okay? Like, are is it, is it just like a regular flu, or you don't know? I think it's a regular flu, because um, my baby girl was the last week with flu too. Oh, okay. So, I think it's just a virus, a normal uh, virus, not COVID. <laughs> well, that, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, I think so too. You know. Um, and yet you're here see that's very responsible from you that's great <laughs> have to uh, <laughs> it's, why do you want to learn english huh why do Sorry? you want to learn well, why do you want to learn english uh because um i i want a better job i i want a bilingual job okay so i can get earn more money but just say more money, my honey. Oh, more. oh what's the? F <laughs> no money, that? no money, no honey. Uh -huh, that, that, <laughs> that phrase. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, uh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Yes. Try to... Ariana needs <laughs> have a um a good future. <laughs> yes. Yes, I understand it. No, you know what? Um. After class, I mean, try to get together from someone from here and practice, you know, talking. I mean, at the end of the day, what you have to do to improve is talk. You need to talk a lot, right? So, yes, that's the best advice I can give you. Stephanie, how are you, Stephanie? Everything good? Good evening. I'm good. How was your day? I was a uh, busy day. All right, I bet, I bet. You look tired. Mm -hmm. I actually, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm kind of like falling asleep because I'm super tired. I'm really, really, really tired today. Suspend the class. I almost. <laughs> you, hey, come on, man. You, you don't like my class. You don't like. No, I like, my, I love, but you are tired, I see. <laughs> my Cheyenne class. You don't like my Cheyenne class. <laughs> hey, that's that's my secret, guys. I'm always tired. Es mi secreto que yo siempre estoy cansado. But okay. here you see me, right? Here you see me, right? Uh, Nancy, how are you, Nancy? How how was your day? Hi, good. All good. Good. I celebration my birthday. Now. Oh, it's your birthday. Yes. Hey, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday. to you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's great. Awesome. My family is down. Oh, downstairs. Oh, so you're yes. here and there. So yes. my God, yeah, I have <laughs> one person, uh, you know, in her party, in her birthday party, and she's coming to class. Yes. My, you deserve my applause, okay? Super responsible. I have someone Thank who's sick. You. I have someone who's sick and I have someone who's, you know, who's celebrating her birthday. Ariana, what applause too? <laughs> oh, there you go, all right? There you go, Ariana, Ariana right? Yes. Or Adriana, Ariana. Ariana. Hello, Ad hey. Adriana. <laughs> she was painting with her hand. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. That that's the you know I do the same thing. You know you don't see me, but yo pinto con mis manos también. No, I'm kidding. That's right. No, no, but it, right. Uh, Evelyn, how are you, Evelyn? Everything good? Um, I'm fine <laughs> that, because uh, a very stressful day. You had a very stressful day? Yes. Oh, wow. What happened? Uh, because um, I have uh, one problem in my work. Oh, OK. I'm so sorry to hear that. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, but one thing I have learned in life is no, no you know, nothing Nothing bad comes without reward, you know? Um, basically, you know, nada malo viene sin que, sin que algo bien te venga después, you know? Like there is something good afterwards, right? So, but thank you for being here. All right, guys, 
But let's get started, okay? Catherine, welcome. All right. All right. So we're gonna talk about demonstrative adjectives, okay? Before that, guys. Hey, what's a what's a demonstrative adjective? What have you heard about a demonstrative adjective? First of all, remember what is an adjective? ¿Qué es un adjetivo, guys? ¿Qué es un adjetivo? Describe the subject. It describes the subject or the object. I don't 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 go with that explanation, guys, because I mean, yeah, it describes the subject, but it also describes the subject, the object, or even a compliment. You know, it describes the the real explanation, guys, is that it describes a noun or a pronoun. What is it, guys? Describe un sustantivo, right? Un pronombre. Got it? So that is the job of an adjective, okay? All right? Very good. So, so um, on today's, well, in today's agenda, guys, we're going to have a small warm up. We're going to go over grammar and we're going to have some practice at the end, okay? So, let's take a look at this, guys, okay? Uh, who would like to help me read number one? Can me ayuda a leer number uno, guys? Number one. Me. Let's go, Catherine. Thank you. Um, the Christmas card we got from our friends. Very good. Okay. So listen. All right, take a look at the uh, take a look at the hand. All right, bend la mano, guys. That right, this is demonstrating. Okay, está demostrando, demonstrating. Repeat, guys. Demons, demonstrating. 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 Not, not demonstrating, guys. Demonstrating. Okay. Demonstrating. Demonstrating. Okay. It's like saying demonstrando, right? With an N. Anyways, okay. So here, guys. Okay. So what would be? What do you think, guys? If you, right, maybe you have you've heard about this, right? So what would be the? What are we missing here, guys? Que, que estamos que no falta aquí. What should we type in there? ¿Qué deberíamos de escribir ahí, guys? This is very good. Okay, so okay, this is okay. So this is this is the Christmas card we got from our friends. Very good. All right. Now notice why why are we using this guys? Because hey, estamos demostrando algo, right? This, okay, all right. But guys, okay, be careful because we have you know we have demonstrative adjectives, and uh, we also have pronouns, okay, demonstrative pronouns, all right. But I'll I'll teach you about it later, okay. All right, number two, guys. What do you think? What do you think the answer for number two is? To everybody else. All right, so what is the answer for number two, guys? Let's see. Let's go, Stephanie. Let's read it, Stephanie, and let's try to see what that is. My little cousin's favorite building's blocks. Uh, okay. These are? Okay, these, right? So these, these are, okay, very good, all right? Very good, actually pretty good. Okay, uh, what about Laura, all right? The next one. Um, those are my brother's color pencil. Those, right? So those are, very good. Okay, now do me a favor, guys. Uh, do me a favor and please complete all of these in your notebook right now. Okay, let's see. Let's see what you know, guys. Okay, real quick, guys. I'll give you three minutes so you can complete them in your notebook. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm gonna send a message to everybody else, guys, so as to why they're not here. Okay. So, um, three minutes, guys, para que completen todo esto. Okay. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Let's go in your notebook. En su cuaderno. All right. Let's go. And um, why they're not here.
you receive a message from me right now, guys, it's just I'm just sending a message to everyone, okay? Disregard it if you're here in the class. Si les cabe mensaje mío ahorita, guys, de que se unan, solo no le hagan caso si están aquí, ok? Les estoy enviando un mensaje casi todos. Okay, guys, so did we finish? Misty? No. Not yet? Okay, right. I'll give you two more minutes. Bless you, Catherine. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't hear you, but I saw you almost hitting your head. <laughs> All right. Welcome, Jacqueline. Nice to see you here. Okay, so who finished? Stephanie, I think you finished, right? Uh, no. No, okay. Oh, Jacqueline, uh, are you there? Jacqueline? Yes, so. I'm, yes, I was sending a message because I, I feel a little confused about this uh, warm up because I, I, I don't know about this. Yes, yes uh, I don't know. All right, it's okay. So that's what I was, I was going to explain this. Uh, you have to do, you have to complete these exercises in your notebook, okay? It doesn't matter. If you don't know, it's okay, right? Because I'm going to explain it. This is just so you, so so I so I can see how much you know about the topic, okay? O sea, lo que vas, lo que todo el mundo está haciendo ahorita, right? Lo que pasa es que te uniste un poquito tarde. So, <laughs> pero lo que están haciendo, lo que está haciendo todo el mundo ahorita, ya que tienes que están eh, completando esos ejercicios, right? Uh, con demonstrative adjectives, como this, that, those, you know. Entonces, eh, tienes que hacerlo en tu cuaderno, but if you know, right? So, eso para ver qué tanto saben acerca del tema. Got it? All right. Okay. All right. 
So if, if you don't know, that's fine, okay? No, don't worry, okay? So let me know, guys. If you finish, guys, please let me know, okay? I can say que termine primero, guys. Dígame, por favor. I finish. All right, Laura, thank you, Laura. All right. So, Laura, what do you have for number 12? 12? Yes. Those are. Those are, okay, very good. What do we have? Those Those are new basketballs the teacher has brought today, okay? Very good. Uh, what about number 11? Me. Yes. That is? That is, okay. Pretty good, pretty good, okay. Did anybody else finish, guys? Hay alguien más que haya terminado? Okay. Me. All right, uh, Stephanie, all right, let's go, with, uh, let's go with number 10. Uh, this is? This is, okay, good job, this is, uh, now, it is not this is, actually. Uh, well, actually, let's see, this is a basket full of juicy apple. Okay, now it's not this is. The reason why is because look at the hand and the basket. Okay, look at the distance. Is that far or is that near? Esta is, is, es distante o está cerca? Distant. Okay, right, so that would be that, okay? That. That, okay. That is, that is a basket full of juicy apples. Okay, very good. Uh, Evelyn, All right, number nine, Evelyn. You are muted. This is. This is, okay, this is. Wait, orange. Is... Nope, that's not the answer. That's not the answer. All right. Orange tulips. Okay, what is the answer here, guys? ¿Quién tiene la respuesta a esta? No, these are. These are, yes. These, these are, okay. These are orange tulips. Tulipanes naranja, all right? We're good. This is that it's plural, right? It's plural. El motivo por cual es porque es plural, okay? All right, very good. Uh, Catherine, number, number eight. This is. This very good. This is right. This is Linda silk silk scarf. Okay, very good. Uh, Jacqueline, I know that you haven't finished them all, but that's let's try. Let's try number one. Uh, Jacqueline. Uh, number one. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is their Christmas. Very good. Okay, so this is good job, Nancy. All right, let's try number number five. Oh, this one, guys. I wanted to see what answer you got. This one is interesting. Okay, it's, number five. Das is. Oh, I'm sorry. What answer do you have? Das that. That is okay. Is. Let me ask you something, guys. Who has a different answer? Quién tiene una respuesta diferente? Of number five, de la número cinco. It could be the, those are my favorite blue jeans. Very good, guys. The answer is those. Those are, okay? All right. Even though, guys, okay, this is always plural, guys. Pants, guys. Pants is always plural, okay? La palabra pants siempre hace plural. Got it? So you say those pants. I like my pants. Got it? Same as in Spanish, guys. Okay, good job, all right? Great job. So what is a demonstrative adjective? Um, let's see, who'd like to help me read, guys? I don't see, you know what? You scared away all men. I think, I think todas las niñas se han unido y se me fueron todos los muchachos. Wow, los asustaron, all right? Too much Cheyenne yesterday. <laughs> all right, so all right, who'd like to help me read, guys? Give me a letter. Me, I can. All right, I, uh, Catherine and then Evelyn, you help me next, okay? Let's go, Catherine. Okay, what are, what are demonstrative adjectives? 
A demonstrative adjective is a special adjective often called a determiner that identify a noun or pronoun by expressing its position as near or far. Including in the time, the demonstrative adjectives are these, that, these, and those. Very good, okay. Guys, this is the keyword, near or far. What is the keyword, guys? Well, girls, what is the keyword? Near, near, near or, far. or far. Near or far, right, okay. Cerca o lejos, okay. This is, this is the keyword, okay. Esa es la palabra clave, okay. Near or far, okay. Very good. All right. So when it is, guys, when we're talking about things that are near and are singular, okay, take a look at this. I have I have uh, singular things here. Tengo cosas que son singulares aquí, right? This right here, guys, this is singular, see? Todo esto singular, got it? Singular, guys, see? Singular, singular, singular. So this part right here is singular. So if it is singular, but it's near, you're gonna use? Repeat, guys, this shamrock. This is shamrock. shamrock. Okay, right, a shamrock is this, guys, it's own shamrock. Uh, I forgot how to call it in Spanish, but you don't need to translate it. Devil? Thank you. Thank you, Google Translate. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you a lot. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, try not to translate, guys. Traten de nunca traducir, okay? Traten de aprenderse las cosas sin traducir, okay? All right. But yes, guys, okay? Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. No, I'm, I'm kidding. All right. Uh, if it is singular, but it's far, you're going to use? That. That shamrock. Repeat, guys. That shamrock. That's shamrock. That's shamrock. Okay, very good. All right. So uh, if it is plural and it is near, you're going to use? These. These. These shamrocks. Repeat, guys. These shamrocks. These shamrocks. All right. If it, if it is plural and it is far, you're going to use? Those. Those. Everybody, those shamrocks. Those shamrocks. Okay, right? Those shamrocks. Esos okay? Easy, guys. Okay. All right. Let, all right. Meanwhile, guys, okay, let's see. Um, Laura, give me your own example with singular and near. Singular y cerca. Dame un ejemplo. Go ahead. These are my uh, babies, a, a form. No, 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 singular, singular. When you say these are, that is plural. You use, I want singular, quiero uno singular. This is my, my pencil. This is my pencil, good job, okay. Uh, Stephanie, give another example with far and that. That are. That my, are. My... Singular, <laughs> that is. Uh, that is. Right. That is? That is my window. That is my window, very good. Nancy, okay, let's try plural and, 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 and near. Plural cerca. These are, these are, mm. <laughs> these are my boyfriends, right? No. Oh, these are my shoes. These are my shoes. You should have come up with that example, Daddy. I already told you, these are my boyfriends. That would have been so cool. <laughs> All right, good job, Nancy. Nancy, thank you. Jacqueline, right? Let's uh, give an example with those and, uh, well, plural and far, okay? Plural que está lejos. Those children are playing. Those children, not children's children. Children. All right, those children are, are playing. Okay, Catherine, give me one with, you know what? Give me one with far and singular. Oh, yeah. Um, that is my pillow. 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 No, pillow. Repeat. Pillow. Pillow. 
fellow. Yes, okay. Evelyn, give me one with far and plural. Um, that's our book, books. Those. 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 Huh? Those are books. Those are books. Good job, guys. Okay. All right. So thank you, guys. Okay. You gave me good examples. Okay. So notice, guys, that an adjective modifies what? ¿Qué modifica un adjetivo, guys? ¿Qué dijimos que modifica un adjetivo? What does an adjective modify? ¿Qué describe, guys? What does an adjective describe? Ya vimos esto. If I say, guys, all right. Let's if I say, you know, the beautiful flower. Where is the adjective? ¿Dónde está el adjetivo? Beautiful. Why is that an adjective? ¿Por qué es un adjetivo beautiful? Because, guys, it is describing the flower, okay? Right? It is describing the flower. Porque está escribiendo la flor. Okay? And remember, guys, if it is describe, describing the flower, right? This, the flower, okay? The flower is the noun. Sí, es un sustantivo. Got it? So, the reason why, guys, these are adjectives. Take a look at these examples, okay? Uh, Evelyn, help me read the, the examples that we have here, please. Okay. Uh, in this example, the noun or pronoun be begin modifying is bold. This shark is pregnant. That lady looks worried. Take us one once away. Here the demonstrative adjective is modifying a pronoun. Put those things in the cup cupboard. Very good. Okay, I'll help you read. Repeat. This shark is pregnant. This shark is pregnant. Pregnant, not pregnant. 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 Yes, yes. I, you're reading it as, as if you were speaking French, you know. <laughs> All right. Um, repeat. That lady looks worried. That lady looks worried. Worried. No, not worried. 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 Yes, okay. Take these ones away. Take these ones away. Very good. Guys, all right. So check this out, girls. What about this, that, and this, okay? You know that these are demonstrating, right? Okay, these are demonstrative adjectives. What are they describing? ¿Qué es lo que están demostrando, guys? ¿Qué es lo que están describiendo? ¿De qué están hablando en la oración? What are they modify? The subject. All right. So guys, they are modifying, not the subject, guys, not the subject. Okay. They're modifying noun. Okay. The noun. Okay. Está modificando el sustantivo. And what is the, the, what is the noun here? All right. Let me, all right. Let's, let's. Uh, Since, guys. It seems that you need Cheyenne, okay? Let's talk about Cheyenne again, all right? So listen, guys, when I say, okay, the first example says, this shark is pregnant, right? Let's go with Cheyenne, okay? Yeah, <laughs> okay, así entendemos nomás, guys. All right, so this shark, right, um, is pregnant. This, I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, this 
shark. All right. And then um, this shark is pregnant. All right, so this is the sentence, okay? Now, this guys right here is what? Como llamamos esto? Now. It's a noun, okay? It's a noun, okay? Un sustantivo. All right? Very good. Now, these guys, you know that that's an adjective, okay? But why is it an adjective? Porque es un adjetivo esto, guys. Because you could say, guys, all right? You could say, you know, the beautiful. You could say the beautiful shark is pregnant. Got it? Yes or no? Yo podría decir the beautiful shark is pregnant? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay. And what is beautiful? It's an adjective, right? Uh. Okay. So if you notice, they're working in exactly the same way. Si se fijan, ambas palabras están trabajando de la misma forma, porque ambas palabras, guys, están describiendo al sustantivo. Got it? They're both describing, guys. Both uh, these guys and beautiful are describing shark. Okay? Por eso es que es un adjetivo, porque lo está describiendo. This shark. Why? Because you can substitute it with beautiful, right? You can substitute it with pretty. Vos lo puedes sustituir por, por beautiful, and therefore, you know, you know that it's modifying the noun, right? I'll give another example, okay? Okay. Um, that, okay. Um, that, give me, give me a noun, guys. Give me any noun. Deme un, un, un sustantivo, guys. Power. That flower, very good. That flower, what? That flower is mine. Okay, whatever. Now, again, adjective, guys, or pronoun. Porque acordate, that actually, ya le voy a explicar una cosa, okay? El that, guys, puede ser un adjetivo o puede ser un pronombre. Okay? All right, but is this, guys, okay? Is this working, guys, as an adjective or a, or a pronoun? Está trabajando como un adjetivo, guys, o como un pronombre. ¿Qué opinan? ¿Lo podría sustituir por Cheyenne o lo podría sustituir por, por beautiful? Which is another adjective. An adjective. All right, you can substitute it for another adjective, right? Why? What is that modifying, guys? ¿Qué es lo que está modificando la palabra that? Flower. Flower. And flower is what? ¿Qué es flower? No. A noun. Okay, very good. So we have an adjective <laughs> and we have a noun, okay? Very good. Now, guys, I want to show you something else. But first, okay, hasta aquí, guys, todas me van siguiendo? So far, so good. Everyone is following me so far? Yeah. Evelyn? All right, try to, guys, take a screenshot at least or write it down in your novel, okay? Vayan escribiendo las cosas en su cuaderno, si no, no se queda, guys, right? Ni a mí se me queda, guys, cuando tomo clase y no escribo nada, okay? So it's a good idea to always be, take, to always be taking notes, okay? All right, now, guys, hey, what happens, guys? What happens when you don't have, you don't know the noun? ¿Qué pasa, guys? Preguntes, háganse esta pregunta, right? I was going to say, ask yourself this question, right? Pregúntense esta pregunta. All right, but ask yourself this question, girls. Okay? What if you don't know the noun? ¿Qué pasa si vos no conoces el sustantivo? Can I use a pronoun? Can I say, guys, instead of that flower is mine, can I say that it, acuérdate que it is un pronoun, right? Is mine. Could I say this, guys? Oops, sorry. Could I, could I say that it is mine? P, 
pienso, ¿no? Right? Think about it. Can I say that? Acuérdate que acabamos de usar un sustantivo, right? Remember, guys, what are pronouns? ¿Qué son los pronombres, guys? What are pronouns, guys? ¿Qué son los pronombres? They substitute. ¿Qué sustituyen? A noun. They substitute a noun. Si sustituyen un sustantivo, guys. If they substitute a noun, y yo digo, that it is mine versus that flower is mine, do they mean the same? ¿Puedo sustituir flower por it? Yes, yes. or no? Can I? I say yes. Raise your hand, guys, if you think that you can. That is mine. All right. Guys, no, you cannot substitute. All right. When you use a demonstrative adjective, guys, it's impossible usar un pronombre personal. You cannot use a personal pronoun. Got it? Nunca, guys, okay? Never, ever, 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 okay? The way you do this, guys, is like this. You have to do, you have to use the word one or once, es plural. Got it? Escríbanlo, guys, all right? Write it down in your notebook, okay? Okay, you have to use one or once, okay? Think about one or once, guys, as a pronoun, okay? Pensenlo como que es un pronombre, okay? So if that's the case, guys, so how will we, how will we substitute flower with a, with, with, a, with, you know, with a pronoun? ¿Cómo sería la oración entonces, guys? How will we, how will we do this? That one is mine. Very good. Okay, that one is mine. Good job. Good job. All right, very good. Okay. Now, guys, the thing is this. When you mention the word one, we already know what we are talking about. Cuando vos mencionas la palabra one, ya tenés que saber, o la, la otra persona ya tiene que saber de qué estás hablando. Right? Si yo te digo, if I say, you know, um, I, I saw her, si yo te digo, uh, hey, uh, Stephanie, I saw her yesterday. Si yo te digo, Stephanie, mira, la vi ayer. Do you know who I'm talking about? No. No, right? Right, you don't, because I'm using a pronoun. See? So you need to have more information, or you needed to have more information uh, beforehand to understand what I mean. Tenías que haber tenido más información de antemano para entender lo que, de lo que estoy hablando, ¿sí? Yes? Very good. So now, guys, okay? So just, just that, that's just FYI, guys, right? La terminación one, guys, es para referirse a algo si ya sabes de lo que estás hablando. En este caso, yo ya sé que estoy hablando de la flor. Entonces, yo puedo decir one, okay? Do you want more examples? First, right? All right, so what about plural? Let's see, all right, let's take a look at, um, I don't know. Um, let's see, Nancy, Nancy. Uh, give me the name of, a, give me the name of an object that you have around you. Dame el nombre de un objeto que tenés alrededor. Eh. I, something plural. I go, I, I go in plural, in plural. Quiero algo plural. plural, yes. Pictures? Pictures, okay. Uh, Jacqueline, Jacqueline Ramirez. Give me, all right, give me a demonstrative adjective for the word pictures. Mm. Pictures that are far. And I'm going to use one. No, no, no. Dame el demonstrative adjective. Que usamos para plural, lejos. Uh, that? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, but it's plural. Lejos. Oh, is, um, yeah. I can have. Plural those? and far. Those, very good. So those pictures, okay, are cool, right? Vamos a hacer, those pictures are cool. Okay, so now, um, how would I substitute this, guys? Well, so how would I substitute this? Como lo substitute, how would I substitute, guys? You know what I mean. Those ones are cool. Very good. Okay, so so you would substitute with those ones are cool. Got it? Got it? Got it? This. So in other words, it works as a pronoun. Okay. So guys, la palabra one or ones, right? They work, okay, work as pronouns, okay? Got it? Is everybody following, guys? Todo mundo, ¿me va entendiendo hasta ahorita? Yes. Yes? Okay, very good. Yes. Very good. Why do you look so sad today? <laughs> well, I know that some of you are sick, but... Oh my God, today has been crazy. Anyways, okay, so. All right, guys, so. Um, um, so we, we saw, guys, we talked about how this and that modify. Modify what? Singular nouns. Singular nouns, right? And these and those modify? Plural nouns. Plural nouns, okay. No. Very good. Now, this and these, by the way, guys, the pronunciation. All right, this one is this. Repeat this. 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 All right, I'm going to teach her, okay? Because, guys, literally, guys, no, no teacher in, in El Salvador that I've met knows how to teach the pronunciation for this, okay? They only say, you know, this, this sound is shorter and this one is longer. Guys, la diferencia entre esos dos no es que uno es más corto que el otro, ¿ok? Right? Es como relajas los músculos de la garganta. ¿Ok? Uh, yes. So, the first sound, guys, is like when you wake up in the morning. Pretende que te acabas de levantar en la mañana, you know, so um, your husband, Chayanne, is waking you up, you know, de repente tu esposo Chayanne te levanta, right? And then they go like, you know, you're like super, super sleepy, right? And, and you go like, eh, ¿sí? Eh. Do that, guys. Eh. 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 Pero absolutamente eh. relajado. Es, es pronunciar una I, pero sin esfuerzo. Eh. 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 Repeat, guys. Eh. 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 Okay. Eh. 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 Right? Y la otra es con esfuerzo. I. ¿Sí? I. Nota cómo se tensan los músculos en tu, en tu garganta. En tu, en, tu, en tu boca. I. I. Eh. I. Eh. ¿Sí? So the pronunciation for this, guys, is this and these. See? This, these. Do you hear the difference? Consiguen entender la diferencia. This, these. Okay? So anyways, my point being, guys, is that they don't have the same pronunciation. No tienen la misma pronunciación, okay? All right? So remember, guys, um, that, guys, right? That and those, guys, are used to talk about things that are farther away, okay? Cosas que están más lejos, okay? Now, you gave me these examples, guys, so we're not going to go over them, okay? All right. <clears throat> also, guys, another thing to remember is that they can tell us the position of something in time. También hablan del tiempo, guys. For example, uh, Evelyn, could you please help me read the first example? Okay. I will remember... This day forever. Very good, okay. Now, this, guys. ¿Cuál es la diferencia, guys, entre this day and that day? What's the difference between this day and that day? Present and future. All right, this, guys, es un día que está cerca de vos. That day es un día que está lejos de vos. Got it? All right, so this day, guys, is a day that is near you, and that day is a day that is you know, far from you. Got it? So that is the difference. All right? Very good. So far, so good? Yes? All right. 
Now, this is where I wanted to get at, guys, okay? This is the last part that I'm gonna teach you before you start practicing, okay? Take a look at this example. Let me Tell me, where do you see the demonstrative pro, uh, adjective here? Donde ves el adjetivo demonstrativo aquí? Catherine, where do you see it? Kathy? I think your computer got sucked. Uh, Stephanie, where do you see the demonstrative adjective here? This is hot or, or read. Or... No, no, no. Donde ves el adjetivo demonstrativo aquí? Thank you. Thank you, girls. Pensing, pensing, pensing. Let me ask you something, All right? Uh, Nancy, is this a demonstrative adjective? Is this an adjective demonstrative? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Raise your hand, okay? Raise your hand if you think that these are adjectives. Guys, if I say, all right, give me, I, I don't know, guys. Let's talk about, um, I don't know, Scarlett Johansson. All right, Scarlett is hot. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna use this, okay? Now, we can say, guys, we can say, you know, that is hot. I want you to notice something here. What is Scarlett here, guys, in the sentence? Que es Scarlett en la oración? A noun. It's a noun, okay? All right, now, Notice that they follow in the same position. Vean como caen en la misma posición, guys. So that is what? Is that an adjective? Is that describing something? Is that, that guys, describiendo un noun or not? Yes. Yes. What noun is it describing? ¿Qué es it? ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál sustantivo está describiendo? Maybe water, tea, coffee. No, it's not described. No, I'm talking about grammar, guys. Guys, estoy hablando de gramática. Bien, right? What I want to show you guys is this, okay? When I say, right? Remember, remember in this example, guys, right? Esto es un adjetivo porque está modificando flower, right? That flower, okay? But if I say, guys, that is beautiful, for example, right? En esta oración, guys, ¿qué es that? ¿Dónde está? Is, is this a noun? Is this a noun? Is that, is that a noun, guys? Yes or no? Now, is this a noun? Y esto es un noun. No. Okay. Entonces, no. guys, si, si vos me decís que edad es un adjetivo, ¿qué es lo que está modificando? ¿Dónde está el adjetivo? ¿Está modificando esto? ¿Está modificando esto? No. Okay. Guys, it is not modifying no, none of that, any of that, because that, guys, is the subject of the sentence, see? And what type of subject it is, it, guys? It's an, it's a, it's working as a pronoun, okay? All right? It is a pronoun. That is beautiful, guys. Okay, see? So in this case, guys, we call this, all right? We call this a, es un tipo de pronombre que se llama demonstrative pronoun got it so anyways we're not gonna go over guys you know what a demonstrative pronoun a demonstrative pronoun is guys lo que quiero que entiendan es que no se confundan como se david como se yo que es un, un adjetivo o un pronombre all right this is the answer guys okay so that is beautiful okay guys lo que te tenés que preguntar es hey Hay un sustantivo a la par de that, yes or no? Is there a, is there a, is there a noun right here, yes or no, guys? Noun? Hay un sustantivo a la par, guys, a la derecha, yes or no? Yes. What, which one, guys? Where's the noun? No, no, no. no, guys, if the answer is no, if the answer is no, then it is a pronoun, okay? Si no hay un sustantivo, guys, if there is no, right? Hold on. Okay, if there is no pronoun, guys, okay, 
if there is no pronoun to the right of that, uh, this, what was it guys again? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, let's lose it. Oh, this, that, these, and those, okay? All right? Then it is a pronoun, okay? A pronoun. Um, a demonstrative pronoun, okay? Demonstrative pronoun, okay? Write it down, guys, okay? So, si no hay un, un pronoun, si no hay... Hold on, there is, there is no, no, if there is no noun, I'm sorry, right? Si no hay, si no hay noun, guys, si no hay un sustantivo, a la derecha de this, that, these, or those, guys, entonces, es, esto es un pronombre, okay? All right? If I say, guys, that apple, okay? Now, do we have a noun? Tenemos un adjetivo, ten, perdón, tenemos un sustantivo a la par de... That, yes or no, guys? Is this a noun? Is this a noun, guys? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, okay. Entonces, okay, if the answer is yes, guys, okay, then we can say, if there is, you know, if there is a noun to the right of the same thing, right? This, that, these, and those, then it is a demonstrative adjective, okay? Simple. All right, so in Spanish, guys. All right, acordate, si tenés la palabra this, that, these, or those, guys. Y no hay sustantivo, que es? What is it? Is that a pronoun or is that a, an adjective? A pronoun. A pronoun, okay? And if we have, if we have a noun next to the word this, that, these, and those, is that an adjective or is that a pronoun? An adjective. It is an adjective, okay? Simply, guys, got it? All right, beautiful, beautiful. Any questions, guys? Easy peasy. All right, very good. So guys, do me a favor. All right, uh, so we're gonna, we have seven minutes, guys, so let's work on uh, let's work on these exercises, okay? I'm gonna send them uh, to the WhatsApp group, guys, and let's work on these exercises together, all right? Are you sure, guys, you don't have any questions? We're good? All right, Ruben, welcome, Ruben. Nice seeing you. All right, guys, so let's get to work. Let's go. All right, Ruben, let's let's join Ruben. Oh. Oh, there you go. Hola. Hola. Good guys, any questions?
No, porque está refiriéndose a, a plural. A plural. There well, are. And the second. There are my friends' grandparents. Is ah, plural. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Second. Uh -huh. Sí. The, uh -huh. the three is that. Um, yes. That. The third building. Over there is the Christmas tree. Yes, that. That building. Oh, there, that, there. Oh. No, is that. No. Oh. And four. Is that. This is, and uh, number four, this is my mobile phone. Mobile, mobile phone. Oh, yes. No way. Four? I think both are this. This. This is okay. my mobile phone, and this is your mobile. And this. Uh, um, but it says over there. I think over there is for far. Yes, it's that's far. And thus, uh -huh. thus, thus, thus is my mobile. This and thus. This is my mobile phone, and thus is covered. This and uh huh. This is my mobile and phone, thus. and thus. And that, okay. and that's his remote. Number five. Uh, this. This. Uh-huh. Sorry, what happened? Hi. I'm sorry, what happened to your partner? She is gone. Why? Why did she leave? I don't know. She she was in, in a mute oh. or mute. Oh, okay, right. We're gonna go back now. And never say hi or, or something like that. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm I'm sorry. Okay, let's go back. Okay, guys, so guys, finish them home, okay? Um, and we're gonna review them tomorrow, okay? So finish them, right? We're gonna review them tomorrow, guys. Um, any question, alguna pregunta? We're good? All right, guys, I see you guys are sick. Some of you are tired. Some of you have, you know, a birthday. Happy birthday again, Nancy. All right, uh, so go enjoy, guys, and rest, please, okay? Um, hopefully your day gets better, Evelyn, right? Hopefully, you know, your night gets better. Uh, but thank you for coming, okay? I appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Girls. Thank you.